Mishko, one of the people from the audience said they're really proud and very excited about the fact that you guys are pushing the web forward. So I want to know, before you started Angular, what was your situation, your frustration with the web? Uh, before I was Angular, I actually worked on um, uh, kind of the best practices coach at Google. Basically, we were interested in how to make it easier for the developers to write tests. And so my real focus for many years was at Google, like, how do we bring testability to large uh, uh, legacy code bases? You know, how do we teach the best practices of coding and, and so on? And so the web framework kind of came about because I wanted to build web apps and I just kind of realized like, you know, every web app is essentially a marshalling problem. How do you get the data from the UI to the database and back to the UI? And I was wondering, you know, what could we simplify? Could it be as simple as just putting a bunch of markup on a page and all of this thing would happen automatically? And so this is what was kind of the beginning of it. And you can actually see the fact that I was doing the best practices and, and the testing story and the heavy focus Angular has on testing as well. So what was your first step with Angular in making that simplification? You know, the not having to make calls to databases. So actually, I was hoping to actually go after a different target market. Uh, my interest was, you know, could we make it so that people who are non-developers could build very simple um, applications on their site without having to maintain a backend? Kind of like what Angular uh, is today with something like Firebase, where you don't have to worry about the backend. You just put a bunch of markup inside of your HTML, and uh, logically, it, it just works. And so originally, it was not meant for developers at all. Uh, it, it turned into a web framework when I was within Google working on a different project, and I kind of got frustrated just how unproductive I was with building forms, which essentially were just, you know, how do I get data back and forth, back and forth? And I suggested that you know we try a different approach using um, in this thing I was working on a side called called Angular, and over the time you know Angular kind of became more and more fo refocused on on the development productivity and the developers rather than just web designers, but it retained that uh, the declarative nature that it's kind of the Angular is kind of famous for and unique for. So I think that's kind of the history of it and, and why it is that way it is. Last question. You have a huge audience here that is very into this, and this is just a program that you, you know, started out. So I want to know, think back when you first started out on Angular, and you know, this crowd today. What, what did you expect was going to happen back then, and how has it been far different than what you expected? So the crowds are interesting. I really wasn't expecting them at all. Um, it, it, what's, what's different was back in the day when I would come up with crazy syntax or new way of doing things, I would run to people and be like, hey, look at this crazy thing. And they'd be like, uh, yeah, uh -huh, interesting. Yeah, that's not the way I would do it, but whatever. And now, all of a sudden, everybody has an opinion about everything we try to change. So it's kind of unique. It's kind of nice. But at the same time, it, it's um, having such a large audience it means that you have a lot of critics whenever you're trying to change anything. Uh, it's very unexpected, but very pleasurable. But when you have a lot of critics, that means they're very eager to get something done. And so when they're angry or frustrated with something, it's just solely because they want to get something done, right? That's right. Uh, we definitely try to listen to them uh, as much as possible to kind of understand the reasoning, the motivation behind it. Um, but we're also trying to put up together something that can be, is forward-looking. So uh, oftentimes, people's frustration just comes from, from history of where they come from in terms of like the, the language they've been using or the code base that they already have. Uh, so it's, a, it's an interesting balance we have to strive between being able forward-looking and at the same time uh, be able to bring people with us as much as we can.